So I was speaking with a friend in the UK the other day who said he wouldn't even consider an EV until the charging infrastructure had been sorted out in the UK. I told him we're very lucky in China. I said that we have a product on the market today which can go from zero to 100% battery in three minutes. And this is not some niche product which only a few people can use. This is something which has been done over half a million times. This is available today on the market. And this is the Neo ES8. This is fully charged. And this is battery swapping. So, Neo. You may have heard of this car company quite a lot in the media as their stock price is going up and down, up and down. This is the main reason that they've been in the press a lot recently, but they've achieved much more than that in the few years they've actually been around. So these guys have sold now over 50,000 EVs. They've completed 650,000 battery swaps and all of the cars have done a combined mileage of 800 million miles. So, this is a, a solid product in the market here. And as you can see, this is the new ES8 model. Now, they also have an ES6 model, which is slightly smaller. Uh, and they also have uh, a new car coming out, which we have featured on the Chengdu Auto Show footage. Now, this car retails at about 458,000 RMB, so that's about 53,000 pounds. And for that, you get fully five-star crash-tested um, car and much, much more. Let's talk about stats very quickly. Now, this car has a 100 kilowatt hour battery uh, and it can do 580 kilometers any DC range. Now, that's pretty impressive considering that this weighs almost two and a half thousand kilograms. I think 2,450 kilograms. So it's quite a big lump to carry along the road. So considering that, this has a very impressive 0 to 60 time of 4.7 seconds. Now, put that into some context, the Ferrari F355 from 20, 25 years ago does the same speed, but this has seven seats. So uh, that's pretty amazing. Now, I want to talk about charging very quickly, um, but before I do, just check this out, because this is cool. Just, just nice touch, isn't it? And close it, that's done. Now, being such a big car, you would think that it would have a large boot, but in fact, the boot is just 310 litres, which is not very big at all. That's because the two seats at the back for your seven-seater are in the back. Push them down and you get a lot more in terms of space. So this is the best place to be in this car. Now, this is opulent, this is luxurious, this is comfortable, this is unique. This is everything that you could want in a car which costs over £50,000. You know, I've, I've, I haven't felt another electric car with levels of refinement such as this. Now, in here, I'm spoiled with I've got a small screen over here and I've got a reasonable size screen here, which is very actually detailed, not very pixelated, which is great. Uh, up here, I've got my little moving assistant called Normie, who will respond to my commands so it can change the tracks. It can open the boot. It can do many, many things. Now, I would say there's one complaint in here is that the accelerator pedal is a little bit close to the, the side down here. Um, I keep banging my feet, but that's probably because I've got feet which are too big. Uh, and down here, massive cubby hole space. I think you can see my hand. Uh, more space in there. Uh, and in general, honestly, I don't feel like I'm in an EV at all. I feel like I'm in something like a Range Rover or a Bentley. This takes it to another next level. So this is very exciting. This is actually the second time I've driven the Neo. The first time was a couple of years ago and I drove the Founders Edition. Now this is the second uh, re-release uh, of the car. 
I think with something like 180 different updates across the car. Now, I really did think when I got into this car first, it'd be quite wallowy and lardy and lazy, but a little bit Rolls Royce-y. Um, but in fact, it's actually quite sharp. The chassis is, is tight. Um, and although it weighs two and a half, uh, 2,500 kilos, it really doesn't feel like it. You know, those twin uh, 400 kilowatt um, electric motors really do help with uh, the speed, obviously, uh, it's extremely rapid, um, but it's actually very responsive as well in the corners. So, you know, it's very comfortable if you're turning around or um, or going going very fast in a straight line. Again, the only issue is that it, it's large, so I'm constantly worried about hitting things, and that is why it has so many useful sensors around the car. Now, just waiting for some traffic lights because we are now on the way to the most exciting part of this video. This is the battery swap part. Now, I'm gonna not say any more at the moment. Uh, let's drive there and then once we get there, give a little bit more information. So we've just arrived at the battery swap station. Now there is a queue of one car in front of us. Um, so we have to wait for three minutes uh, for the next one to be available. So I'm going to jump out the car now, take a, have, a, have a quick look around the actual battery swap station, um, and then we'll find out more about how this actually works. As you can see, the battery swap is taking place. So the car has just been moved into place on the rollers. The car has now been lifted up. Now the battery tray has gone underneath and is taking out the screws in the battery pack right now. It's all laser guided and it will pull out the tray underneath. This was literally so easy. All I had to do on the app was say, I wanted to do a battery swap. Uh, I'm here now. So I just click it on the app, it says when I'm in the queue, one car left, uh, and then I just left the car there and the guy comes out and he drives the, he drives the car, your car, in there himself. You don't drive it yourself in there, obviously, because um, you, know, you could hit some important equipment. Here you go, here's the battery's now coming out. I think that's probably taken about 90 seconds. Now the battery's spinning around before it gets sucked into the room to be charged. Now, as it's going in, so it's important to say that if you are a NEO owner, this battery swap service is completely free of charge. Um, however, if um, you buy the car secondhand, you're charged the kilowatt hour price. Um, the kilowatt hour price obviously, uh, typically is around uh, 13 to 15p per kilowatt hour. So if you've returned the battery with 20 kilowatt hours left, um, and the battery is 100 kilowatts, you buy the 80 kilowatts from these guys. Uh, and the price is based on that. So it's actually very cheap uh, to do this and obviously very super convenient. Now, we're doing this in the middle of Shanghai. We still have a lot of range left. But if you're on the highway, these are along most of the eastern part of China along the highway. Um, this actually becomes really useful and a good thing to have. And so here comes the, here comes the new battery. So they're both on that train, the old battery and the new battery. So it's just literally swap them over and honestly this costs what eight pounds probably for me so you can actually do the battery swap on both the models there's actually a ES6 over there which is waiting to go in next uh, obviously I've got the ES8 and so my old battery is actually already gone back in that room and is being charged for the next customer uh, and it tells you how many batteries are uh, available and how much range they've got and how much time it will take for that battery to be fully charged so I saw about an hour ago that there were no current fresh batteries. Um, so we decided to drive around a bit, came here, uh, so the battery would be ready within about an hour. And now that's it. The whole process has taken literally three minutes. And I've got a fresh battery with full range for about eight to 10 pounds, which is ridiculous.
Voice swapping isn't the only service that Neo can provide to customers as well. This van behind me is a fully electric van, so it's driven by electric, it's got the green number plate for Shanghai. But say I go to an island just off Shanghai or I go somewhere quite remote just outside Shanghai, there's no charging, there's no uh, battery swaps, I'm a bit scuppered. But what I can do is I can use the app on my phone, I can get NeoPal to come out, and in the back of here is a full-on charger. So they will drive out to me within two hours, they say, uh, and they can plug into my car and charge it up so I can get to the nearest charging station. Now that takes the service to a completely another level. Uh, I've seen a lot of these buzzing around Shanghai and good job is they're all electric. So this is a fully electric enterprise and they really are thinking about the future. So flush with cash, Neo have gone completely mad. They have these vans, they have the battery swap, they have great service, the whole package is there. And this car is something that would easily fit into Kensington High Street, for example. However, should we be building, should we be driving more massive SUVs? No, probably not. You know, I prefer much smaller, more efficient, more economical cars, which don't take up so much space. But the, idea, the ideas are there. They have all of these features that all EV manufacturers could benefit from. So it has taken a plucky startup from China to really challenge the legacy automakers. Why would you buy anything else when you've got all of this available to you? That's all we've got time for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please click on the Patreon links below, YouTube memberships, all that lovely stuff is there. And if you have been, thank you for watching.